this discussion a long time ago, but lawyers are magicians. There's magic words. And if the right magic words get said, the magic trick happens and everything goes away. Houdini, like, uh, you know, David Copperfield, right? Like, there's drug charges, poof, and they're gone. It's time for the OG of LawTube to educate the rest of LawTube. Nate, You're go back to constitutional law class. Potentially criminal Sean. The only thing accurate about his name is probably the criminal part. <laughs> Uncivil law, God bless him. Stick to patent law, bro. Legal mindset. So maybe I'll take the time to ask and research why it is you suddenly left the state of Florida and went to Southeast Asia as a single man. You chose the town in Thailand, most infamous for one thing, for child prostitution. That's where he chose to live. I wonder if that's a coincidence. What what motivated that shit? I mean, all a bunch of law two owes me an apology, right? Frankly, I don't know how many people. I was like, Barnes is just speculating on the search warrant. He can't possibly know it's in the search warrant. Boo! What you have is a corrupt cop writing a fake warrant. Uh, a vengeful, vindictive cop looking to get Nick Ricada. Bogus warrant by corrupt cop signed off by vengeful judge. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It turned out the cop was completely rogue. Uh, lying, hiding information, fabricating facts, making up claims, intimidating, coercing other cops, intimidating, coercing witnesses in direct violation of their Fifth and Sixth Amendment rights. So uh, Ricada's already won. He's got robust constitutional issues. Now, who knows with a state trial court judge? Nine, nine out of 10 are in the pocket of the prosecutor and they're complete wusses and not willing to enforce the constitution when it comes to these issues. Uh, so that there's always that issue, uh, but they're tough to get. Uh, with a lot of judges. That doesn't mean the judge's decision is correct. So the fact that judge says something tells you nothing about the law. It tells you what people in power do, but it doesn't tell you anything about principle. So yeah, always bet on Barnes. Yeah. Yeah, always bet on Barnes. Nick Ricada told me that wasn't a guess. Do you understand? Nick Ricada told me I could come on your grave breaking baldo news well kind of this kind of relates to nick too because you know he has a mistress and well this is partially the reason he's in this situation in the first place but minor april m halt news so here we have in response to a troll reply on april m halt's instagram account april states i would never when asked if she would start cheating on nick Additionally, she states he deserves much better than anyone who would cheat on him. An exceptionally glowing opinion of Ricada Law by April, while Kayla Ricada has been radio silent. Kayla Ricada is Lady Rackets, the person that Nick was uh, allegedly in a monogamous relationship with before it was discovered that Kiwi Farms was right and that Nick had been lying to people for over five years. Uh, has been radio silent and apparently moved to the grandparents' house, uh, Bricada's house. Uh, is April saying the quiet part out loud? Why does Nick deserve someone better than a person who cheat? Why would she say that at all? Is this a sneak this on Kayla Ricada? It is evident that not all is well in the Baldo Bunker, the Palagamous Baldo Bunker. And I'm going to show you real quick. I want to uh, let you know because there's quite a bit that happened here. In fact, Legal Mindset, an actual good attorney, weighed in on the situation. You know, the one that uh, Nick always mauls about because he's better than him, more presentable and stuff and everything. Uh, so some people wanted to know, like, who is April, right? Who is April M. Hall T? What's going on? This individual actually was able to go ahead and give a short TLDR of how we got here in a sense and why exactly April might have snuck that little diss in. Uh, so we have this account, one of the A logs, I, I guess, or something. But they give the quick TLDR of what happened in this situation and... They say, TLDR, during the Depp trial, as you guys would know if you were following Ricada, Kayla Ricada, which is Ricada's, you know, monogamous wife, quote-unquote, even though, you know, he lied about that, uh, was left alone and bored and started to form a close relationship with male uh, steel toe fan. This was anywhere from a friend to emotional cheating to potentially actual cheating and Nick's worst day ever may also be how the relationship got, quote-unquote, opened up. Uh, basically, the person that they're referencing here is uh, Aaron Emholt, right? The guy that entered the 
uh, polycule bullshit thingy. Okay, basically, let me give it the TLDR from what we can see, and we can kind of presume at this point um, what ended up happening. Riketa was very busy with streaming and she neglected his wife. Uh, she seeked comfort in Aaron M. Holt's hands, I guess, or scrawny little arms. Uh, and then she ended up cheating on Nick. Uh, so then, you know, because Nick is an egomaniac, he decided, how do I go out of, how do I come out of this without looking like a fucking cuck, right? How do I, how do I not look terrible? How do I, how do I fix this broken, bruised ego of mine? Well, he decided, oh, let's open up this relationship, honey. And so thus the open relationship started. So it is highly speculated and it would be a safe presumption at this point uh, because of all the things that are lining up as well as, you know, April's statement, a little sneak this, that Lady Rackets actually cheated on Nick Ricada, which is fucking hilarious. So Nick is an actual fucking cuck. And because Nick is such a narcissist, in his deluded little mind, he only thought, oh, I can't be a cuck if I open up the marriage. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's, that's it. That's what we can assume is the tail of the tape on how this entire thing, uh, played out essentially. Uh, but back to April M. Holt, all right? So April M. Holt posts a new Instagram caption stating, God must have a colossal sense of humor. Our editors here at Breaking Baldo News doubt there is divine comedy at play. We prefer the idea of reap what you sow. So, <laughs> Uh, you know, this is one of those things that speculation was running wild that, I mean, it ranged from, like, Nick has taken over her account or whatever. Um, some people are speculating that April might be pregnant at this point. Uh, <laughs> um, so we got this over here. Uh, when are you going to start cheating on Nick? I would never. You know, there's more that goes on. Here, let's go ahead and check this out. I would never. And then they reply again and they say, as in, I'm not into cheating. So if I were in the position, I wouldn't. He also deserves much better than anyone who would cheat on him. Uh, this prompted legal mindset to actually weigh in. But first, an individual here named Malcolm X says, amazing, despite the attempts at denial, Ricada Law side piece April has let slip on Instagram. She is in a relationship with Nick. There is a second follow-up comment where she says Ricada deserves much better than anyone who would cheat on him. Is this really what it looks like? A thinly veiled swipe at Ricada's wife who had been sending out her nudes. And that's another thing uh, in case you guys aren't caught up to, to speed. Uh, Ricada's wife, Kayla Ricada, uh, had been uh, sending out her uh, nudes to a lot of people. Um, this is what prompted initially uh, Kiwi Farms members to call her. Uh, you know, all those mean words that Nick claimed that she wasn't. But, you know, it's a fair observation, a logical, uh, objective conclusion to what Ricada's wife would have been uh, to where Nick, you know, completely lied about it or whatever. But Legal Mindset weighs in on this and he says, Relevant fact, given the contrary, uh, contrary statements to law enforcement and the court, uh, and that is what uh, Nick was basically saying, like, oh, good luck proving, you know, that this, this, and that happened or whatever. Uh, so, again, it's one of those things where April kind of fucked Ricade over. Again, uh, I don't think this was intentionally. The first time I speculated that might have been intentional when she entered her Zoom hearing uh, and she was in Ricade's study, which is not really what you want to be doing, but whatever. Uh, Bragg and Baldo News then asked Legal Mind says, what are your thoughts on the full reply exchange? Curious that Nick deserves someone better than uh, would ever cheat on him. To which Legal Mindset says, April likely realized how the first post looked and followed up. There is likely a twisting of concepts here with the word cheating, i.e. Nick doesn't consider it cheating if his wife engages in swinging slash group activities he consents to. Uh, to where Malcolm X goes ahead and he actually replies with something that Aaron M. Holt, uh, I believe this is Aaron M. Holt, yes, it is Aaron M. Holt's account. Now, again, this is the guy that cucked Nick. Um, you know, he's not, uh, from what I've heard, he's not really 
uh, the best guy out there. Uh, but you know what they say, <laughs> birds of a feather, and Nick actually liked this guy for some reason. Nick was trying to lick this guy. I'm not even shitting you. There's literal pictures in the jacuzzi stream. Uh, Nick is trying to lick Aaron. Um, I don't know why. Creepy old man behavior. Next thing you know, Nick's going to be sniffing children like Joe Biden was, but whatever. So here we got Aaron saying in regards to the post where uh, the minor uh, breaking Baldo news happened here. We got Aaron saying in a response to, I'm not into cheating at Aaron M. Holt. The levels of the Lulu in Spicer know no bounds. Aaron says she was still living with hanging out with her quote-unquote ex-boyfriend when we started sleeping together. She asked me to lie to him when he DM'd me asking if we were dating, um, which is like a total fucking red flag. You know, you never want to deal with a woman like that. And as you can see, a bunch of people here, well, this one saying, I mean, that's a pretty, that's pretty, that was pretty obvious, bunch of red flags. You trust a woman who was already cheating on her previous boyfriend uh, to where, like, you know, I mean, they, they say it all the time, ladies and gentlemen, don't trust the hoe. Um, you know, a, a, a kind of people are, like, roasting this guy, too. It's like, a, so a liar and a cheater, and you still fell for her. You men are your own worst enemy. Um, to where it's like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it is, it's not good. This is not an ideal thing, um, you know, that, that you would do. And I don't, I don't know why Aaron would do this, but then again... I don't know why Aaron would get into um, a polycule relationship with Ricada in the first place. I don't, I don't know how he didn't see this ending up uh, in disaster. But again, people are speculating that April might have just let a couple things uh, out that they weren't supposed to, and uh, it's just it's not going well. It is continuously not going well for Ricada and it just kind of gets worse it gets so bad that even like this just minor April M. Hold news which again is like a subsection of breaking Baldo news it's just it can be damning you know it can be damning uh using it against uh Nick you know because now there's a lot to speculate there's like some contrary contradicting statements now it's just not good it's just not good overall I had to put this out uh but we will be going over a lot more this Friday, which is like tomorrow, right? Uh, you already know the time. You know, 8.15 uh, Central, 9.15 EST, and we don't care about those West Coasters. Well, at least not California, but you guys can figure out the time on your own. <laughs> uh, other than that, we got a bunch of stuff lined up for the docket. It's going to be very well, uh, very good, and I hope to see you guys all there. But I thought I'd put out this video real quick. Uh, the other video that I had planned, unfortunately, is taking quite long to get the green light for. But it should be out by the weekend or next week, or we'll, we'll have to figure something out or something. Uh, but until then, guys, like and uh, share. And, you know, if you like this type of stuff, subscribe if you want to keep up to date on Ricada News, because I go over it quite frequently. Uh, and, uh, yeah, appreciate you guys. Uh, YouTube ain't gonna push this video out for me, but I know the Sandy Squad will. So, I'm trusting you. Salute, soldiers out there. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's stream. Uh, have a great rest of your day. And remember, don't be a Rackets. Do not have the full store E. Ooh, ooh. Come, Kiwi Farm. Come and look upon the heart. Upon the heart. Ooh, let's talk in DMs. It is not too late for my mercy. Ooh, ooh. Come and look upon the heart. Upon the heart. Oh, oh, oh. I'm a god. How can you fail a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. 
I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet kiwi farm. I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm a god. God. I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm a god. Welcome, Kiwi Farm. You do not have the full store E. Ooh, ooh. Come, Kiwi Farm. Come and look upon the heart. Upon the heart. Ooh. Let's talk in DMs. It is not too late for my mercy. Ooh, ooh. Come and look upon the heart. Upon the heart. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a god. How can you jail a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you fail a god? Shame on you, sweet kiwi farm. I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm a god. God. I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm a god. No rehab or intervention can work in this place. There is no escape. No rehab or intervention can work in this place. There is no escape. No rehab or intervention can work in this place. There is no escape. No rehab or intervention can work in this place. There is no escape. Oh, I'm a god. How can you jail a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you jail a god? Shame on you, sweet kiwi farm. I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm a god. God. I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm a god. 